Hi guys, welcome back to our channel NetworkTips.in In our last video, I have shown you how to download and install EVNG on Mac Silicon, be it M1, M2 or M3 and today I'm gonna show you how to download and install GNS3 on the same Mac M3 having 16 GB of RAM so let's get started so this is a website where the steps are written so just download and install all stack so this is what we need to get started so just click on this link and it will start download or it will open a website for you just go to download option and hit on download apple silicon no need to give a email id over there so once the download will complete we will install it and below are the commands which we need to perform on our terminal window to get started so it's downloaded let me install it first so let's close this and open application to verify whether it's installed yeah we can see orb stack so just open it oh yeah so this was the test which i was doing earlier so i'll just make a fresh start by deleting it so that we can start afresh okay so no linux machine i am no virtual machine as of now so let's minimize it and open a terminal i will maximize it so that you can see the commands going on so let's change the directory to our downloads so let me copy the commands I'll close this that is not required so going back to terminal and now moving from main directory to downloads now we are in our downloads directory and I'll just do copy and paste of the commands one by one this is done moving to the next command basically changing the directory So now we will create a python virtual environment with this command. okay so this is also done let's go and verify uh, I think I missed something okay let me check the status whether the machine is started or not yeah now we can see it is in the running so moving to the next i'll clear that yeah. give me a minute guys i think copy has not completed com
I think something is wrong with the command so I have the commands noted down in a notepad for you guys so I'll share it with you in the description box below or you can copy it from the website so it is started so we'll wait until it's get completed So basically this is creating a GNS virtual machine. Okay, so it is done. Let's just give me a minute. Okay, let's move to verify. Yeah, now we can see the GNS3 is running on Ubuntu AMD64 okay so let's verify the ncl also it should show as a success yeah it is successful now now let's deploy the latest gns3 okay so let me tell you uh, this is gonna take somewhere around 5 to 10 minutes depending upon your hardware as well as your internet speed. So please bear with me. So basically this is downloading and creating the different dynamics and dependencies so let's wait to get it completed Okay, so what is left? Generally takes 10 minutes and after that we can verify it.
okay so let me copy this curl command Okay, so it is done. Let me copy this command to verify. And we can see the version 2.2.49 is installed now. So I'll just minimize this as terminal work is completed almost. I'll just verify whether the server is running so let's open it in a browser and we can see this is a server which is which we just have installed so let's open the uh, let me just deactivate the uh, deactivate. Yeah. okay so it is done so now we just have to integrate this particular VM which we just created into the GNS3. So let's do it. Okay, just so just you just have to go to the GNS preferences go to the server option second one and make sure this is unchecked and just fill all these details and hit apply and okay and you'll be able to see the summary on your right hand side so let's quickly install a Cisco iOS V router just to show you that it is installing So I already have the image file available so let me install it and it's done. Let me create a pro test project done hit OK and you can drag 
and let me start this so that you can see whether it's starting or not and as we can see iOS V is started to boot up so it generally takes one minute or two minute depends on your hardware configuration but you can see that it is working so that's it I think for this video I'll see you in the next video till then please do subscribe if you like the video and thanks a lot